Hi guys, I first want to show you this. Uh, this is a banquette bracelet. This is one of the patterns that I made for my book. Uh, but that book is not going to happen and I decided to put the uh, videos for this on the Patreon website. Now you can join that for at least one dollar a month and you can uh, join and leave whenever you want. Um, this one is also, by the way, in Etsy. On, uh, in the Etsy shop. So, uh, yeah, if you like it, you can download it there without joining Patreon. Um, and we're gonna make this uh, ring. This was is also one of the uh, cup chain rings, the, Kif the Kiffany style ring. Uh, you can make it like a square like this or you can make it like a diamond uh, shape like this. And uh, we're going to do that. That was supposed to go, that ring was supposed to go f uh, with the bracelet that I also made for the book. Um, I made the Giffany's bracelet again with the cup chain but uh, with a clasp like I did this one with a clasp and then that ring was supposed to be uh, part of the assembler that goes with your bracelet. So, but we're going to make the ring right here. Uh, this will be the only pattern uh, I will be sharing with you that is for from the book. Uh, so I hope you don't mind uh, everything else you will be able to find in time on Etsy or you can join me on Patreon and become one of my um, sponsors and um, yeah I will leave both links for you underneath the video um, and uh, yeah let's get started so let's get started you need three pieces of a uh, cup chain with the three cups and I suggest that you check if there's any leftover um, extension still coming out, and you cut that off. So it won't stick out after you made your piece. And you also need 24 pearls and double sided adhesive. Now you need six pieces of double sided adhesive. I'm not a big fan uh, of glue. You also need some 11 O seed beads and some 15 O seed beads. So I suggest we get started. The thread can be fireline. I'm taking about uh, two meters. And maybe I'll be able to also do the chain with that, or at least part of it. So I'm running that through my beeswax. Cleaning that up, holding it in between my fingers, get that extensive beeswax off, and putting it on my needle. Okay, I'm gonna start with four pearls, three millimeters, on the needle. One, two, three, four. Pulling that down. and giving it a double knot. Make sure you stay in between those pearls. Now I'm going into the first pearl. I'm adding to my needle one eleven O silver seed bead. three 15 O seed beads and one more 11 O seed bead. And I'm going back into that same pearl that I came out of. I'm moving forward into the next pearl. I'm going to pick up one 11 O seed bead three 15 O seed beads and I'm going to pick up that seed bead 
that I had there already. And I'm gonna go back around in the pearl. Now I'm gonna put that down, get a piece of double-sided adhesive. I'm gonna put that on my pearls. Push that on there. Oh, that already came off. Awesome. I don't have to pry it off. And I'm gonna put my three millimeters in that direction. So, okay, now I'm gonna pick up the next pearl. Pick up an 11 O again, and three 15 O's. And I'm gonna pick up that 11 O right there, and I'm gonna go back into the pearl. Now, I'm gonna go into this top pearl, and I'm gonna pick up the 11 O. Just hold your finger on there. Gonna add three 15 0 seed beads and I'm gonna go down in the 11 0 on the other side. And I'm gonna pick up the pearl again. I'm gonna go up in the 11 0 and I'm going this way I'm going in front of the second cup chain in through the three C beads down on the side in the next three 15 0 C beads into the three seat beads on the bottom and I'm going to go down in the three seat beads on the other side and into the three seat beads in the middle again down in the 11 O into the pearl and I'm adding three pearls here on top of that three pearls and I'm going back into the top pearl right here. I'm going to pick up this side 11 -0. I'm going to add to my needle three 15 -0 seed beads and one 11 -0 seed bead. And I'm going to go back into the pearl and up in that same 11 O that I'm coming out of. I'm going to move forward into the three seed beads. I'm going to move down into the 11 O and the pearl I'm going to add one 11 O seed bead and three 15 O seed beads 
I'm going to go into the 11 O and the pearl again. And pull that through. I'm going to move forward into the pearl. And into the 11 O. I'm going to add three 15 0 seed beads to my needle. I'm going back down in the 11 0 and into the pearl. I'm going up on the side into the 11 0. I'm going to pick up the three. 15 O's, the three 15 O's on the side, the three 15 O's in between the two cup chains, Three fifty notes on the other side, and the three fifty notes on the top. And I'm going to move down into the eleven o on the side, into the pearl, and I'm going to add three pearls again. One, two, three. And I'm going around into that pearl again. I'm going to go up in the 11 0 And before I add anything else, I'm first going to do a piece of double sided adhesive on this side. I'm going to open that up, pull that pearls, pull them pearls down, put the double-sided adhesive on there and push it down. Make sure your thread is tight and then pull that on there tight and get your paper off of there. And Put your last cup on there. Now I'm going to pick up three 15 0 seed beads again and an 11 0. And I'm going to go back into the pearl and up into the 11 0 behind the pearl. I'm going to go into the middle three seed beads, down into the 11 O and into the pearl. Add one 11 O to your needle and three 15 O seed beads. And we're going to go back into the silver 11 O and the pearl. Next, we're going to go into the pearl and up the 11 O. Adding three 15 0 seat beads on your needle, silver, pearl, silver. Move into the three top silver 15 0 seat beads into the three on the side. The two, the three in the middle, the three on the other side, and the top three. And we're going to go down in the 11 O into the pearl. 
move over to the next pearl. Into that middle pearl and a pearl on the side. Next, we'll be working. We just worked our way up. Now we need to work our way down. And you hear my doggy snoring in the back in the background. I guess she's just sleeping. So pick up three pearls. Go into the pearl. I'm gonna go into the next pearl. And we're going to add to our needle one eleven o and three fifteen o's, and we're going to go back down into that silver eleven o CP that you got there. And then we're going to go into the pearl again. Now first we're going to add our double sided adhesive. that on there, get those seed beads out of the way. Okay, get the top off. Put your second chain on there. into the pearl, add to needle one eleven o and three fifteen o's, and we're going to go into this eleven o and into the two pearls, now we need to move forward in this pearl And the eleven O is already there, so you need to go up in that eleven O. Add to needle three fifteen O's and go down in the eleven O, the pearl. And that 11 O that is already there. And you can see it when you look on the side of it. You will see that 11 O. Now we're going to go into the three 15 O's. The three on the side. The three on the top, the three in the middle, and the three on the side again. And we're going to go down in the 11 O and into the pearl. Now, the pearl on the side is already there, so you got to pick up the next pearl. And instead of adding three pearls, you're going to add two pearls. And I'm going to move forward into the next pearl. forward one more pearl and another pearl. I'm going to move up the 11 O. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's. 
and then I left no and I'm gonna go back into the pearl and I'm gonna come up the 11 o now this is already here so I'm gonna go through there this is also already here so I'm gonna go through there Then I'm going to go down in that 11 O right there in the middle into the pearl and up the 11 O to add my last 315 O seed beads. And you got to pick up you got to pick up that 11 O seed bead that's right there in the middle. Don't know if you can see it right there that 15 O seed bead 11 O seed bead. Gonna go into the pearl again. Up the 11 O. And now I'm gonna connect the top, all of them, the 315 O seat beads. The three on the side. The three in the middle, the three on this side, and the three right here. Now you gotta go down into that 11 hole right there. And then you gotta pick up that. Pick up that pearl right there, and you get to add the last two pearls for this row. And we're going to go around in the pearls. And in. I'm going to go into the pearl. Now we need to add our adhesive. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to get in between there. Try and just pull that, pull that down. And put that last cup on there. I'm going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead and three 15 0 seed beads going down in that 11 0 and that pearl in this pearl and up the 11 0 three seed beads down in the 11 0 and up again through the pearl into the 11 O. Now we just need to go around and we're going to go around first this way because you got to have all five of them. If I go one, two, three, four, then these two will not be connected. So you got to make sure that you got uh, you got them all. So you got to go this way because that's where you're going to go down. One. Basically you go around five times. Two. This is three, four, and five. And now you got them all connected. Going down into the eleven O and into the pearl. Next we're going to add three pearls and we're going to go back into the pearl 
move forward one more purl and now we're going to add our last chain and I take my adhesive put it on the pearls. Get that off of there. And put that on. Now I'm going to pick up an 11 O and three 15 O's. And we're going to go down in that 11 O. Move forward into the pearl. And the next pearl. At one 11 O and three 15 O's to your needle. Go back into that 11 O and into that pearl. I'm going to move forward into the next pearl, up the 11 O, at three seed beads, 15 O to your needle, down in the 11 O, into the pearl, and up the 11 O. Now we need to connect the top again, so we're going to pick up those three 15 O's. The three 15 O's on the side. The three 15 O's on the bottom. And the three 15 O's on the side. And to connect it all, we need to move forward three more. Now, just take your needle and just push it down right there into that 11 O silver. Move into the next pearl. And it doesn't matter, you can also go the other way if you want. Pick up two pearls, go around through the pearls, and up in that 11 O right between the pearls right there. Add to needle three 15 O's and an 11 O. I'm gonna pick up this pearl and make sure that that goes in between your cup chain. We're going to go up the 11 o again. Now, this one's there, that one's there. Now we just need to add this one. So we're going to go and move over to the side three into the eleven O, the fifteen O, and the eleven O. I'm gonna add our three fifteen O seat beads here. down in the 11 O in the pearl in up the 11 O so now we got to go around again three
three. and three and the last three we go down in that 11 oh, right there in the middle and we're going to add our last two pearls around into the pearls just so kind of open that up and then just close that pull your pearls now the 11 0 add to needle 3 15 O's and 1 11 O into the pearl and back up the 11 O move forward to that last pearl side into the 11 o into the pearl and up the 11 o and three 15 o seat beads and down that 11 o and into the pearl again now we need to go up and go around one more time so it doesn't really matter if you go around that time uh, around this way or that way as long as you pick it uh, pick up five as four sides so that's one two three four and five so now everything is connected and you got your top part you move down in the 11 o now if you want the diamond shape you're gonna go into these two pearls if you want the square shape you're just going to move into this middle pearl. So we're going to do square right now. And whether you go into the side or into the, whether you're going to go into the corner or you're going to go into the side. If you're going to go into the corner, you need two seed beads to go down and five seed beads 11 0. So that's two seed beads 15 0 and five seat beads 11 0 because you need a little bit more room uh, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to go down one seat bead on each side so we're going to pick up one seat bead 15 0 and then we're going to pick up three seat beads 11 0 and I'm going to use a different color because the silver galvanized is a little bit expensive so we're going to use uh, Ivory Pearl Miyuki Seed Beats 11 0. So let me go and put that away. Um, so that's one 15 0 seed bead. So I'm going to keep that silver and I'm going to pick up three white, uh, that's Antique Ivory Pearl Ceylon, and I'm going to pick up another 15 0 seed bead. And I'm going to go around into that pearl and I'm going to do that two more times because that first part needs to be really strong 
where it's connected to your pearl. I always um, compare it to uh, to the loop. You make want to make sure that that's really strong. So one more time. And we're going to come out of the three seed beads. Now we're going to turn it around. And we're going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead and we're going to go back into that first seed bead right there. And then we're going to pick that seed bead up again. I'm going to pick up another seed bead. I'm going to go into the second one towards yourself. And we're going to pick up that seed bead also. I'm going to pick up a third one, pick up the third seed bead. And back into that third seed bead. Now we're going to pick up the first row of three 11 0 seed beads. Oh. I'm going to pick up that first row to straighten it out and then we're going to pick up the second row. And turn that around because that's we have to turn that uh, piece around every time we do a row. Pick up one seed bead, go into the first seed bead. And this is just my favorite ring band. You can do all kinds of fancy stuff, but I like this one. Um, pick up another seed bead into the second one. Pick up that seed bead. Add a third seed bead. Pick up the third one and go back into that third seat bead and then we're going to go back through the previous row and up the three you just added and you got to turn that around again okay and you're just going to do this until your ring band is long enough oops that's not a good seat bead and you're basically going to repeat this until your ring band is long enough and um, how do you know that your ring band is long enough? Well, you'll just put it on your finger. And then you just measure it uh, all the way around. So I'll be back on that one uh, when my ring band, I think, is long enough. But you got to remember, you also still have two seed beads that go through that pearl. So um, I always suggest don't close it up just yet. And just um, measure it while leaving it open, just in case you need one more row or one less row. But just continue until you got a fair amount of ring band, and pause me now until you get there, and then I'll show the measuring one more time to make sure that you get it to fit. Now, the fitting is as following. You just put it all around your finger and I can see that I need about probably two or three more rows. Now, it might be that you're running out of thread, so in that case, just take your last thread and just go zigzag all the way back to here. And a new thread, you're just going to push in uh, prior to where you start, uh, to where you ended, you're going to go up and you're going to go down and then you're going to add seed beads again. So that's very simple. You can also, if you have a long uh, end tail, you can just, let me just take that off, because that will be easier also to work with if you have a really long end tail. I don't have such a long end tail, but I'm going to use that anyway. So basically what you can do is um, take your end tail and just kind of go into this pearl, this pearl, this pearl, and then that pearl and start like you did start here. I don't have enough thread for that, but I'm going to, so I'm going to go work my uh, end tail away. Instead,
move it just through the pearls. And zip it off. So I noticed that I need at least two more rows, so I'm going to add those. Now, for the final fit, I'm going to pick up my 15 0 seed bead and I'm going to go into my pearl on the other side and pick up another 15 0 seed bead. go into my three seat beads, my last three rows and now I'm going to go around one more time and you might have to take this out if it's not long enough but do it anyway because you want to make sure that that's a good fit because if you put your finger in here it's going to go loose if you don't go around at least twice okay now I'm going to hold this tight and I'm going to fit and, just, and make sure you got that tight and see if that goes on there yeah that is absolutely a perfect fit so when you got that perfect fit you don't have to do anything anymore if it's too big or too small you have to take uh, too big you'll have to take up one row if it's too small, you will just have to take out these two seat beads right here and um, yeah, just add a couple more rows. So I'm going to go do my three times around. I already did two. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my leftover thread to zigzag it away into the seat beads and that's all there is to it and you can cut it off too but I like to see I think I can make it all the way to the other side and that will even things out a little bit make it strong uh, a strong ring band on all sides not just on one side of the ring band I got about 22 sets of seat beads, uh, 22 rows of seat beads on there, I think, 22 or 23. And up there, and burn that off. And be very careful that you don't burn the rest through. Well, that's about it, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time, and I actually want to do a little crochet with you and a little tatting after this, so, um, yeah, I hope you'll join me. Bye. Now, there's one more thing that you can do. You don't have to, but you could do. And that's uh, add seat beads. Add seat beads all the way in between. Now, there's one thing, more thing that you need to do. You need a little bit of new thread for this. Not much. Uh, about 50 centimeters. Put that on your needle and we're going to go in one of the pearls, pull that thread through, up the silver seat bead and we're going to go into the three seat beads. I'm going to pick up a silver line seat bead 15 0 into the next three seat beads another 15 0 and into the next three seat beads pick up a 15 0 turn another 15 0 another 15 0 
and another 50 no. And we're just going to go all the way around. That will give your uh, your ring a nice edge. So picking up this one. going to come out in front of that silver seed bead. Going into this one. Picking up a silver one. Going through the next three. Another one. Through the next three. And I'm going to come out on the side. I'm not going through that silver CP that's there. I'm going to go into this one. Add another silver seed bead. And the last silver seed bead. Now my end tail is coming out of this pearl. I'm going to turn into the three silver seed beads that I added on the side. Make sure I get them all. I'm going to go down in the 11 O. And this is where I meet up with my end tail. I'm just going to double knot. And pull that knot into my pearl. And just kind of work that away. Into my pearls. And zip that off. Also take the end tail and move that away. But don't pull too hard. You don't want to pull that knot out of that pearl that you just pulled it into and just zip it off. And there we have the finished product. And I like it very much. But personally, I think I would have gone one more row bigger. So I hope you liked it, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. I do want to share a little bit of crochet with you because I'm making a blanket and I want to show you how I'm doing that. So I want to um, share that with you guys. <laughs>